Happy Christmas in July. We just got done releasing our latest bundle, the Christmas Time SVG bundle, which included two very classy, beautiful cards, as well as this fine centerpiece here that I'm very proud of, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's going right on my Christmas table as soon as I get a chance to decorate, but first fall and Halloween. So let's just be clear about that. Um, today we're going to put together a really cool card that's a great way to give a gift card. And it contains a little bit of an element of hipness, I guess you could say. Um, you can omit the hipness and give it to anybody. Um, so if you want to be the cool mom or the cool grandma that, or the cool grandpa or cool uncle, whatever, um, this is a great card to, uh, to accomplish that with. So let's just dive right in and take a look at what we have. Now this is our base. It's the base of the, the actual um, card. We're not gonna be doing anything with this aside from gluing something to it. And you're basically gonna fold this and we're gonna close it up with a little band. And the band features uh, a little snowman. I'm sorry, it's not a snowman, a penguin. So we're gonna piece together this little penguin here and uh, we're gonna glue him to the band and then we're going to simply close it up. So it's a very, very simple freebie and it doesn't take a long time to put together, but your recipient is going to love it. And um, it's even got a little room for a note if you omit the little caption that we've included. So I'm gonna begin by putting glue on the black part of my little penguin, and I'm gonna glue that down onto the white part of my penguin. And nothing complicated about this freebie. So if you are new to Dreaming Tree, this would be a great little place to start to get your feet wet, because if you can do this, you can do this, okay? As long as you can get the pieces cut out, you just follow along with me, and there's nothing that you can't do. So, uh, next up here, we've got his little feet. I'm gonna put some glue on his little feet and get that glued down. And let me make sure that I got that lined up nicely. And I do. Okay, and then the other one. This shouldn't take more than about five minutes. Uh, it took me maybe five or six minutes to cut out on my new maker. All right, so the feet are in place. Let's, um, let's put his hat on. So we're gonna grab this piece here. We gotta put this layer down first. This is a very, very simple freebie. Um, but I love making videos for you guys. So it's fun for me, especially when it's simple and fun. All right, now there's the top part to his hat, the little part that's kind of folded over. So let's get that in place. Right there. I don't know, getting sloppy. What a cute little freebie. We have a lot of cute little freebies, guys. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, you gotta tell other people about all the freebies we have. We need more friends. Okay, and we got this white piece here. It's gonna be the little pom-pom on his hat. So just pop that in place. We have a cute little scarf for him. So let's get some, get some glue on the scarf. And get that in place. Now what you wanna do is um, just kind of follow the curve that you see on the black portion of his body and then the ends where they end should kind of go with the flow um, where his little hands are. Okay, so get that glued down. And when we're done with him, we're actually going to, uh, we're gonna use some foam squares to put him on our little band. All right, we've got a nice little heart here. I'm gonna end up putting a little piece of bling on the heart just to kind of give it some extra dimension. But if you don't have the bling, we've supplied an additional layer for you. All right, now we've got his little mouth or his little bill. Let's get some glue on that. 
and this is this isn't really like the 3D stuff that we usually do. This is more paper piecing, but uh, the fact remains, if you can do this, you can make anything from our website. Uh, we gave him some rosy cheeks, so I've got two little circles here. And I'm gonna get those in place. You wanna just kinda uh, offset them a little bit. We didn't put markers on there, but as long as you're right about there, Maybe a little bit further out, that's fine. Just a little drop of glue will do. And try to get that nice and symmetrical. There we go. All right, and now we've got some little googly eyes and I've got a couple different sizes because I'm not sure which size will work better. We're gonna bring his eyeballs in to make him look cute. And I think the small ones are gonna be the way to go because I think the big ones are just too big. Let's see. They might make him look like he's been drinking or something. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna go with the small ones. Um, look at this little point right here and use that as your guide to make sure that our, uh, <clears throat> our little penguin has a nice, cute, symmetrical face. And I think if you bring the eyeballs in a little bit, not too far in, but just kind of, so they're not too separated, I think that'll make them look cuter. So I'm definitely, whoops, a little too much glue there. And his other one, just try to keep them equidistant yeah, see, I probably could have brought that. I'm gonna bring him in a little bit more. That does make him look cuter. Stay, mister. There we go. Okay, so there is our little penguin with the googly eyes. He's done. Now we have our little silver band here. I'm gonna take and fold the little tab here, and we're gonna apply glue to our tab. And let's make sure that we get that glue right out to the very edge here. Now, sometimes this, um, this glittery silver paper um, doesn't dry as quickly as the card stock. So you, if you're using like a, a glitter, make sure you take some extra time to ensure that that gets a good hold. I think maybe this is, I think this is that POW paper so maybe it maybe it does work a little bit better, but I always, if I do struggle with anything, it's always glitter paper. Okay, so that's good. Let me grab my foam squares. And what we're gonna do is, he's gonna be right in the middle of this thing, like so. Okay, you want his, you want his little hands to be kind of, uh, I'd say about a third, or two thirds of the way down or a third of the way up like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put foam squares uh, in these areas here, right about there. Probably just do two more, like one here and one here. Hope my googly eyes are okay, they are. And let me grab my, my dangerous X-Acto blade. And we'll peel the backing off of that. Okay. Had a lot of caffeine today. <laughs> Mostly just green tea, but I'm a little, a little shaky. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little hyper today too. I'm just excited to wrap up the work week. I've been working on the last bundle and everything that goes along with it since Tuesday. And um, I'm ready to play some softball tonight and maybe enjoy a little cocktail. All right, so there is our penguin. We're gonna put him right on there like so, just like that. There he is, beautiful. And now for this element here, now I've got this beautiful pattern that's gonna be on the outside. Here is the gift card thing. So what I suggest you do is pop your gift card in first. So this is a nice little gift card holder, okay? And then what we're gonna do, and again, optional, 
But if you want to make this kind of more hip, or even if you just want to give it to a family member who maybe doesn't chill, maybe they relax, uh, I do a little bit of both. We want to go ahead and glue down the caption. Give it about a quarter inch from where the gift card is. Okay. So I'm going to just do little dots on this because it is kind of a delicate little piece. And I'll just get that in place. About a quarter inch down. Make sure you get it nice and centered. Hopefully that looks centered. Yeah, the gift card is, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna go with it. All right, now we're just gonna glue this to the inside of our base. And what we wanna do so that we don't, uh, don't cause any problems with this is we're just gonna take and put glue on the outside and in the corners. Okay. I mean, you could definitely put some extra glue down here. Just don't put too much glue behind the area where the gift card is. Okay, and then let's get that nice and centered in the base of our main card here. Uh, I had that a little cockeyed. And just push that down. That flies back again. I don't know what he's eating. Maybe he's eating Kit Kats. Okay. So there it is. And that just closes up. And then it's all held together by Mr. Penguin, who is sure to put a smile on someone's face. So there is your little gift card holder. Super cute. Very easy. I really hope that if you're new to Dreaming Tree, you try this. And uh, for our seasoned veterans, I hope that you incorporate this into your gift giving this holiday season. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, I ask you kindly to visit us on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. And um, if you do make this, please visit us on Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group. That is kind of like our forum. Um, and there's tons and tons of projects being uploaded by uh, a lot of amazing crafters. So I hope you join us. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.